Hey guys, Malachite here. I was just doing some thinking uh, about, um, I don't feel guilty about my dollar store haul, which will be posted after this because I have to um, upload it to my computer because it's long because I bought quite a bit of things because I needed some stuff. But I got to thinking how oftentimes when I buy something really nice for myself, I feel guilty. Like if I go buy a dress at full price, I will feel guilty about it for days. Uh, when I got my computer that I have now, I felt guilty about it for about two months. Seriously. And I needed a new computer. I genuinely, legitimately needed a new computer. The computer I had had caught fire and thank goodness because I work with Archangel so I always pray to Archangel Michael every night for protection and thank goodness that Archangel Michael and the goddess were there and I was protected because somehow that computer did not burn the house down and it still functioned <laughs> um, until we moved and then it just fell completely apart and it had to be rebuilt it was a hot mess but it's still like it was back in working order but it was just like it, I just need really needed a new computer. So it was a justified expense, but I still felt terrible about it for two months. Um, and I always do. So I think um, my message is what I, what I want to say is it's okay to find happiness in doing nice things for yourself, even if they cost money. If you want to go out, if you've saved money and you want to go out and buy a $50 dress because you love it and it looks good on you and you have somewhere that you want to wear it, go buy the $50 dress because you love it and it looks good on you. There's a difference between living um, a non-material life and allowing yourself joys occasionally. So. I think you find your joy wherever you land. So in the end, if you live for material things, you are not going to be happy. But if you live your entire life for joy in family, joy in friends, joy in the goddess and God, joy in being in nature, joy in ritual, joy in seeing your cat and or your dog or your you know your newborn baby or you know the little rabbit that came into your yard and is sitting there eating grass and doesn't know you see it if you live for those kind of joys then that's where you're gonna land even if you buy a $50 dress that is going to be a good thing and it's going to make you happy but that's not the joy that you're going to land upon every time that you come back to your happiness your happiness is always going to be grounded in something that is good and fulfilling and there all the time you are always going to be able to come back to love you are always going to be able to come back to goddess you are always going to be able to come back to your favorite tree hopefully um, at the park. You're always going to be able to come back to um, to nature and to you know all of those things. So in the grand scheme of things I was just thinking about it. It's like it's kind of silly to feel guilty for that as long as you didn't take food from the mouth of someone you know like you didn't starve your cat to death to get it, you know. Um, it's guilty, it's silly to feel guilty about buying yourself something nice or doing something nice for yourself occasionally. And, um, you know, as long as I come back and land and my joy is in what's most important and not in those material things, then life's good. So I think that's how I wanted to share it. Sometimes I don't word things very well and I'm not sure why. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but I hope I worded this properly and, um, you know, having material things is not a bad thing. Obviously, look at my room. <laughs> I don't think it's a bad thing uh, at all. I just think, you know, we where our well of joy is coming from is um, what makes our life amazing. And where my well of joy is coming from, I have a wonderful family. I have... Um, the, I don't have a lot of friends, but the ones I do are fantastic. I have, um, all the music that I listen to. I consider that a w part of that well of joy because I can hear. And so I'm able to listen to it and I can't imagine not being able to. I'm able to, with the help of a walking stick, which is fine, go to the park and and see so I can see the birds I can see the rabbits I can see the river I can see the sky and the trees I'm able to see that I'm able to talk with the goddess and commune with her um, and that's part of my well of joy I'm able to afford to eat I'm able to, you know, be nice to people and I'm able to see people smile and I like that. Um, you know, there's all kinds of things churning in that well of joy. Um, and it's something that I can always come back to. So... I can't see myself ever buying a $50 dress, but you know what? I might. <laughs> um, I definitely am going to be better about treating myself to things occasionally, not all the time, but occasionally because I am worth doing that for. And... Um, I will always remember to come back to my well of joy, to my family and my friends and good memories and, you know, a nice salad for dinner and just things like that, you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and um, I'd love to hear about like your home base, if you want to call it that, or your well of joy or your grounding place is another really good way of putting it where do you land you know what's your branch where do you come back and land because we all have to have that that one place that we always come back to um to ground ourselves and to focus and to just bring everything back to center so that we just don't completely fly apart so um yeah i'd be interested to um hear your comments and everything in the uh, comment section. And I hope all of you had a wonderful day. And um, I know I did. So I hope that you did too. And um, until next time, uh, many blessings and blessed be.